It's been an interesting week after about a year and a half of totally avoiding the Enneagram, I finally took the test. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and please like this video. I just recently learned that liked videos help my paycheck. So please like my video if you like it. <laughs> and even if you don't, just help me because I'm nice. So the Enneagram, the Enneagram. So many people are so obsessed. Pastors are even preaching about this. This is like so bizarre, but I understand the obsession. It's really interesting and it's very insightful and helpful not just to like learn new things about yourself and put into like concrete sentences things that you couldn't articulate about yourself but to learn things about the people in your life that you love and that help you live in a more gracious harmonious way with them because you get to understand them a little deeper and a little better it's really fascinating first of all that personality types even exist and that they're able to make such accurate conclusions about people but they are still very complicated and complex and the enneagram is not just here you are there's a lot of depth to it if you haven't done it don't be like me and avoid it do it it's really cool i'm going to provide a link for the fast and easy test that i took and it's only 36 questions there's only two options for each question some of them you might be like well, a little bit of both whatever the key is to not overthink it and just click the one that's most like you and they give you top three uh top three results and i would read through those and see which one is you i think my top one was definitely me when i first read the descriptions last year i thought i was a type two but as I continued to read through them, I quickly realized, no, I am definitely an eight. And it made sense that I thought I was a two because when an eight grows, they grow towards a two. And so when I was reading the two, I was like, this might be me. I'm that, I'm that, I'm that, but I'm not a two. I am an eight, like, yeah. Any of you that have been with me these last five and a half years, you know I'm an eight. It's hilarious. If you're interested in learning more about the eight, read in the description. I'm gonna provide two links. The first one is to the test, and it does give you some description about each type in your results, but the second link is all about all the types, and it's really neat to read through that. It didn't take me long to pinpoint which one I was, but it did take me long to understand what a lot that was being said was true i had a hard time coming to terms with the fact that my head talk my self talk is you can't be weak you can't be weak you can't be weak because i don't say that sentence i don't say i can't be weak i know i'm weak i know i'm frail i know i'm nothing without jesus but my self talk is okay let's go gotta survive keep on going same thing as you can't be weak right i don't give myself the time to like bask in lows and mourning and sorrow i will feel those feelings i will go through them but then i'm like let's go pick it up and let's keep going there's no reason to stay here and that's just the way i am i've always been i don't do that because i'm scared to feel the emotions and i don't do that because i think it's wrong i just don't roll that way that's just not who i am i'm a survivor by nature um, I did find it kind of annoying that Fidel Castro is an eight, but that's an example of an eight gone bad all the way down to like the unhealthiest level, a uh, total tyrant. Um, so I'm thankful that because I know the Lord, I know that I'm a healthy eight. And so I think it's really neat that you can see the ways that you are healthy, unhealthy, and what you can work on and work through as you read further into this. I think this is super valuable. 
in understanding yourself and in understanding other people, but it's not the gospel, you guys. It is not something to like live by. It is not like meant to be this obsessive thing that we just always are talking about, thinking about. It's just neat. But in the end, we're all called to honor and obey the Lord, to love him and to love others. And we're all called to the great commission to share the gospel with the world. And so that is the big picture. That is what matters. We're all different. God's gifted us all in different ways, made us all in different ways so that we all bring something different to the table. It just makes me think of the body of Christ in Ephesians 4, how we all need each other because we are creating the body of Christ and each of us brings something different and unique, different gifts, different skills. And so it's just God's beautiful design that we're all so different. And it's fun to understand each other a little better in order to be able to love each other a little better and to show more grace to each other. But in the end, the gospel is the gospel, and that's all we need. And even if you never do this test, you're gonna be all right <laughs> because you have the truth guiding you in this life, the word of God. So definitely check it out if you're interested. I find it really fun. It's been a lot of fun conversation as well. And then it's cool to know what they are because then you can like see your friends and try to guess what they are. So I think it does take a little more than just glancing over the results. It takes like further reading and understanding what this thing is it's really interesting and of course it's not a christian thing but we can totally see um and credit any growth to the work that christ has done in us but for the most part it's very neutral it doesn't it doesn't seem like a non-christian thing or a christian thing it's just very neutral you can see like god's design and sanctification in your life if you are a healthy whatever type so please tell me what you are please tell me what you see in me that you know I'm an eight. Tell me what you think of all this. I think it's pretty fun. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and have an awesome day. Bye.